Hey, I'm Jess from Zero to Superhero. And I'm Tom from Out the Box TV. <laughs> I'm James Stewart from James Stewart One. Ooh, catchy name. Wow. Killer name, dude. Yes, but one thing my channel has got going for it has it got one viral video. Have you got a viral video? Who needs one, mate? Overrated. I don't like views. Anyone who hasn't seen it, here it is. So that's why we're here today. To teach you guys, and hopefully these pair, how to do the ball trick. But first of all, some safety tips. So number one, believe it or not boys, size does matter. You have to pick the right size ball to be able to do this trick. Too small, and you can really hurt yourself. Clear! Number two, material. It's essential that the ball is anti-burst material. <laughs> Otherwise you'll end up like this Muppet did a few years back. Well, at least he learned the hard way, so you guys don't have to. And number three, when you're learning a new trick, always have someone there for safety. That's it. Nailed it. That's all it is. You can actually simplify it completely by sitting on the ball to start with, and that takes the majority of the danger out of it. And what you're gonna try and do is just roll your hips forward and try and get your weight of on the ball at the back and you're going to roll off. It should be as simple as this. Like that. It's as easy as that, surely. <laughs> You'll go first. Yeah, alright, go on then. There you go, that's it. Push. Big push. Feet over. Boom. Yay! Alright, I'd use a cheeky fist then. I right? <laughs> you're up. Me again. Come on, superhero. <laughs> so, the key is to keep the weight towards the back of the ball, but not too much. So you're not dead centre, you're not over to the front, you're a little bit to the rear. See that? You push your hips forward and your weight was on the front of the ball. And you want to try and roll the ball down the spine. So you should get to about this position and you should feel comfortable to be able to stay there. Then it's over. That's it. Perfect. Oh. Next step is to do that but without sitting on it. So you're basically just going to come here, strand the ball here like this, and you're going to jump with your hips onto it here. So you're then into that position. That's it. Boom. Perfect. And then that's when you'll control. Yeah. Perfect. And then what you want to start doing now is when you land, just go and just start feeling yourself start your hips are rolling forward. You then do the same. Oh. Hey. Like, All right. <laughs> when you get a bit more confident, you can then start kicking your legs out a little bit higher and a little bit earlier. But for now, all it is is just put your legs to the floor. And then start running up to the ball, straddling the ball, and then doing it. Okay, so you can straddle the ball. Oh! <laughs> And that's how the professionals do it. <laughs> that's it. Right. So if anyone's watching from Straight to Soleil, uh, my details are down below. <laughs> you can contact my agent. Over. Boom. Yay! Nice. 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 If you do this once or twice and you think you're ready to go for it, you're kidding yourself a little bit. You need to drill, 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 drill. Nice. Hey. Nice. Oh, nice. yeah. That's really good. Now, James, just for the audience at home, if you go too far forward, what happens? Is it a bad thing? Or if you put your weight on the front of the ball, it will, and I promise you, it will send you flying forward and you will not get over and you'll land quite badly on your back. The back of the ball, if you go too far on the back, you will land on your head on the on the back of the ball, so you've got to be really careful with that. Yeah, don't so land you, your head. If you land here at the front, it will dump you back onto your back. Neck. Okay, so let's do it again. So if you land on the back of the ball too much, you will go up and then you'll come straight back down and that's yeah. how you're going to land. The next step is to actually roll the ball away from you, chasing the ball and then putting into practice what you've just learned and what you've drilled over and over again. Ten, definitely a 10. That was a 10. This is a 1. Yeah, nice. <laughs> the smoother you are, the easier okay. it is. Boom. Nice. Yeah. Woo. That's it. See, that's it. There's no one that can help you. <laughs> yep, there you go. Yes! Nice! That's the one, yeah. you feel that? Can yeah. it flip you off? Well, for safety's sake, that's where we're going to leave it today, and so should you guys at home. Now's the time that you need to practice and do it over and over and over again if you want to get anywhere near as good as James. Remember, repetition is the key. I'm really proud of these two for what they've done in the last half an hour. So go away, practice, 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 practice. Stay safe, and remember... Practice makes perfect. Oh. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I've been wanting to make a tutorial for the ball trick for a long, long time now. And I have to say, firstly, I apologise for neglecting the channel. 
because I haven't done anything for the last couple of years and I apologize to you guys. If you like this video, please subscribe below and also subscribe to my little sister, she's amazing, and follow her on her journey to becoming a stunt woman. And also follow my one of my best friends, Tom Hooker. He's uh, got a great channel going on, he's got a lot of good content going on there. Cheers.